Hello, my name is David Doan and I'm an electronic cigarette user and I want to talk to you today as a member of the European Parliament about e-cigarettes and the upcoming Tobacco Products Directive workshop and amendments and votes and what's going on purely and simply in terms of electronic cigarettes. I need you to know a number of things. One, an electronic cigarette does not perform a medicinal function. E-cig users don't use them to cure themselves of an illness because they don't consider that they have an illness and indeed they don't. They do however enjoy the benefits of using nicotine and nicotine when it's not combined with cigarette smoke is a relatively harmless drug as evidenced by the MHRA in the UK, Professor John Britton of the Royal College of Physicians, Dr Murray Laugerson of Health New Zealand and a great many other eminent scientists that understand that nicotine separated from tobacco smoke is not a dangerous or undesirable substance. I do not use an electronic cigarette that looks like a cigarette in any way shape or form. Indeed the electronic cigarette I use, as you can see here, looks nothing whatever like a traditional cigarette. The only similarity that you would see in someone that doesn't know what an e-cigarette is, is that it does look as though I might be blowing out smoke, as I'll demonstrate. And that's how an electronic cigarette actually works. Not only does the user get the nicotine that they desire, but they also get to replicate the hand-to-mouth actions, the inhalation and exhalation of a visible vapour, and that vapour that they exhale poses no problem to any bystanders in any way, shape or form. There is no problem with what you might call second-hand vapour. Martin Dockrell of Action on Smoking and Health in the UK in a recent radio programme said that what e-cigarette use normalises is not smoking, is using a credible and viable alternative to lit tobacco. What I need you to understand is that for between 5 and 7 million people throughout the European Union, electronic cigarettes have proved a viable and credible alternative to smoking tobacco cigarettes. It has enabled them to leave cigarette smoking behind, whether that's on a full-time basis or on a part-time basis. Whichever way you care to look at it though, those people are smoking a lot less and indeed the figures now show that. If you look at the American market for instance, which does not have as many electronic cigarette users as the European Union, you will see that Altria, the people behind Philip Morris, Marlboro, has seen a 6.5% decline in the number of cigarettes smoked. And this has been attributed particularly to electronic cigarettes. A 6.5% decline over the course of one year, if you take that over the next 10 years, could mean that 65 to 70% fewer cigarettes would be smoked if electronic cigarettes are allowed to continue with as few restrictions as is possible. What this means is the European Union really needs to look more carefully at electronic cigarettes than has already been done by the Commission in its proposals for revisions to the Tobacco Products Directive. It would seem that the European Union, the European Parliament, the Commission and the Council of Ministers has not yet been fully informed of what the potential for electronic cigarette use means over the next 10 to 15 years. It seems sensible therefore that you as an MEP would back a motion or an amendment to ask the Commission to look further into electronic cigarettes and look further at what it could mean over the next 10 to 15 years if they are allowed to continue unfettered. I also hear about harmonisation, how everywhere in the EU should treat electronic cigarettes the same. To some degree I would agree with that, but at the moment the European Union is pretty well harmonised and it is pretty well harmonised because no matter what the rules and regulations in each member state are, 
citizens of that member state are allowed to buy their electronic cigarette supplies, their e-juice, from vendors in other countries. And so they can customise their experience to suit what they need in order to avoid smoking cigarettes. And I'd like to cover that in just a small amount more detail. When I say that a customizable experience is what keeps people away from smoking cigarettes, what I mean is pretty much as follows. I like a lot of vapor. I'm not too worried about flavor, but I do like quite a lot of nicotine. And because of the way I can set my system up, I have the choice of concentration of nicotine, I have the choice of a myriad of flavors, and I have the choice of how hot or how cool my e-cigarette runs. I can customize the experience to suit myself. You may have heard that medicinal regulation would mean that everyone could have the same experience. The fact of the matter is, every electronic cigarette user is different. Every electronic cigarette user needs a different experience. They may, for instance, like not too much nicotine, but an awful lot of vapor, and they may like it hot or cooler, or they may like various different flavors. And it is those flavors that prevent them from going back to smoking cigarettes. Because flavoring in electronic cigarettes is not a gateway to youngsters picking these things up and then moving on to tobacco, they are in fact a locked door. They are a barrier to either relapse or entry into smoking tobacco cigarettes. Thank you for listening so far. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I would just beg of you that you either vote to take electronic cigarettes completely out of the tobacco products directive, or that you ask the commission to go away and do a lot more research fund some studies, unbiased studies, and come back in two to three years and report on what the situation is then. At that point in time, you'll have much more information at your fingertips in order to make a decision that is not going to result in potentially 700,000 lives per year being terminated early because you, as an MEP, voted to effectively ban e-cigs as they currently are from the market in Europe. My name's David Dawn. Thank you for your time. Please vote wisely.